I can't even wait for my tea to boil. Eh, that's good enough. Which often results in lukewarm tea. Quite horrendous, as the British would say. I have many virtues. Patience? Not one of them. Look at all these contests on Twitter right now. There are so many good ones. Except that my manuscript is only like halfway finished. But the contests! Let's see, contest opens in three days, judging is five days later. Eight days is plenty of time to finish the manuscript. No, for once in my life, I'm exercising willpower. This is pretty much what my brain is like every time I start a new manuscript. And it is so important not to give in. Even if you've finished your rough draft, it is not the time to start querying and entering contests. What if you get a request? Can you polish it on time? Do you have beta readers that are going to drop everything and read it in a week? Can you do major plot rewrites in a couple of days? Not well. As eager as I am to get these cool new ideas out into the world, I know that I shouldn't have to scramble to write and polish this manuscript. Normally, the story of the tortoise and the hare kind of bothers me. I'm with the hare on this one. But for once, it's true. Slow and steady wins this race. You need to take your time, edit to the best of your ability, and then get other people to give you feedback. You need to be 100% positive that your manuscript is the best it can be before you show it to agents. Or in the case of self-published or indie authors, before you publish it. Once it's out there, it's out there. No takesy backsies. This should be obvious, shouldn't it? But I'm always so excited about this new manuscript that I want to get it out there right away. I'm halfway through my rough draft and I have written a query. Yes, I have a query. And it's not done yet. I have not written the end and a, and a query exists. If you are so excited you can't contain yourself, it's cool to start making lists of agents or writing out the query letter and polishing it. Or you could even write the synopsis before an agent asks you for one later on and you have to scramble for it. Then, when you're finally ready to query, you have everything ready to go. You will thank yourself for that later. But for now, it pays to rein in the enthusiasm and write the best manuscript you can. Believe me, half of this pep talk is for me. I'm going to watch this video probably three or four dozen times so I can talk myself out of entering any contest before I'm ready. I have to keep reminding myself that if I query this before I'm ready, people will realize it. Agents will look at it and they will know. And you don't want that to happen. You want to give yourself the best shot possible, and polishing it up to perfection is the best way to go to get that. I'm not saying the manuscript has to be perfect before you send it out, because is there such thing as a perfect manuscript? No. But it has to be as perfect as you can get it. So don't let the excitement hurry you along. Take your time and get it right. So what about you guys? Do you have the same overly eager problem that I have when it comes to a new manuscript? If so, how do you deal with your enthusiasm? Honestly, I'm asking this because I need to know. Don't forget, Sunday, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, the Word Nerds have our live chat every week, and we would love to see you there. Thanks for watching, fellow Word Nerds, and I'll see you next week. Ow. That actually hurts. Who does that?